Hi there. It's Christmas Day of 2017, and here we have a special dish I've made a few times on Christmas, and that's roast duck. Now, I haven't yet had the courage or the time to take on a full Peking duck recipe, but this simple recipe for roast duck has worked well, and I like how it turned out. With roast duck, the things you really want are a good skin, and you want to reserve as much of the fat as possible. Duck produces far more fat and grease than other poultry, and this duck fat is pure gold when it comes to cooking. <laughs> and especially, you want to avoid that heavy, gamey taste that makes a lot of people shy away from roast duck. Well, much of the reason why that heavy taste happens is because the meat is overcooked. Duck is a game bird, not raised on farms like chicken or turkey, and so it has a lot more muscle and dark meat. But even though people seem to think roast duck is a hard dish to do, it's really not so hard when you just use some temperature control. The night before, we start out by patting the duck dry with paper towels. Many oriental restaurants had their ducks hanging in the window, and this is done to help dry out the skin. That's why here, we're letting the duck rest uncovered in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, we prepare a glaze for the duck, with only kosher salt, ground white pepper, and honey mixed together. That's all we need to do. And now we get to bring out the cast iron. The duck is small enough to fit into a regular sized skillet and we then puncture the skin along the thigh to help the fat drain out as it roasts. Now all we do is coat the skin with our honey glaze. From there, we rub salt and pepper into the cavity. Most importantly, we insert a probe thermometer into the breast meat. And this happened to be my most awkward scene of placing the pan into the oven because the cord from the thermometer caught on the door. But now, all we had to do was wait for the temperature alarm. The reason why we set the temperature so low was because we're not done roasting yet. We let the duck rest and cover it with foil while we raise the oven temperature to 400 degrees. This will help get the skin nice and crisp. Meanwhile, we reserve the duck fat into a metal bowl. And back into the hot oven it goes. There is a big difference between the duck now and before its second trip in the oven. More duck fat. <laughs> What's more, that short 20 minutes produced a lot more duck fat. Now we strain the precious duck fat and keep it in the refrigerator for future cooking. And with that, it's time to serve our roast duck. This duck is bursting with juices because we roasted it at a low temperature and didn't overcook it. And in case you're concerned that it's undercooked, a thermometer shows the breast meat is just under 165 while the dark meat is over 175. That's why a cast iron pan is the best poultry roasting pan in the world because in only two hours we have our Christmas dinner of roast duck. <laughs> when cooked in this manner, I'll agree this duck is a little tougher and less tender than chicken or turkey, but that's because duck is a game bird and it has a lot more muscle than a farm-raised chicken or turkey. But this duck definitely does not taste like chicken. It has its own flavor, one that is quite enjoyable, and best of all, it does not have that gamey 
taste that we all dread. I won't have any trouble at all finishing this, and as a bonus, there is at least half a cup of duck fat to use with cooking it in the near future. That, you might even say, makes this an extra Christmas present on its own. I hope you've enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.